I know it has been a very hot moment. I have been a little absent, but let me explain. Hi, baby. Look at her. Look at her. She is so cute. <laughs> Emmy, are you still in heat? Hmm? Yeah? That's great. I know I never uploaded that next video that I said I would. Um, I went through it and I started editing it and I just, I just didn't really like it. So, um, I will probably remake that one when I get home from Atlanta. But I'm mostly just coming on here making a really, really, really quick video on what I just experienced in the last 24 hours. So as you can probably tell by the title, I went to Walnut Grove, Minnesota. And if anybody can guess what's in Walnut Grove, Minnesota, that is the location of Laura Ingalls Wilder with the Little House in the Prairie. That is where Little House in the Prairie, the show, takes place. Laura Ingalls lived there just for a brief period, but she moved all over the place and ended, everything ended in Missouri. But in the show, they lived there pretty much the entire time after like a couple of episodes. They have a reunion every five years where some of the cast members from the show will go up there and it's like a weekend long thing. And I saw that they were having one and I did not know that they did reunions and stuff until like a few months ago. And I'm like, grandma, hello, we need to go. So it all started about 10 years ago, 11, 10, 11 years ago. And my grandma gave me one of her books and she said, if you read this, I will take you to Walnut Grove where Laura is from. I'm like, okay, cool. Because I had already watched some of the show, cleaning off my glasses because these are disgusting. And I was the first grandkid to go with her. But we went and I don't really remember a lot from it. And it wasn't a reunion year, so I don't think it was anyway. Um, and then within the past few years, she also took two of my other cousins, both separately, and um, one of them also went to a reunion. And after I found out that they were doing a reunion this year, this year was a reunion, I'm like, we are going. Okay, Grandma, we are going. It's no doubt we are going. So I rewatched the entire series plus the movies, and oh, I love it so much. The show, it's crazy how it just captivates and like, it is one of the most memorable shows probably ever. Cause you have so many different generations that still watch it. There are young girls that still watch this show and it premiered in, in 74 and ended in 83, I believe. And then they made three movies after that. They called them movie of the weeks. I never cry to anything. And I cried so much this show. You can't even explain what it is about it that makes it so good. It takes place back in the 18, late 1800s and they do so good with it. Even though it it's an old show and you can tell how old it is, it is still so good. So if anybody ever thinks about doing a remake, don't. You will fail miserably. You will fail so much more than half of these live action Disney movies. People will hate you. So don't ever remake it. So the people that were, the cast members that were gonna be there were Dean Butler, ass, uh, ass, oh my God, Nellie, okay. <laughs> um, there was Dean Butler who played Almanzo Wilder, Allison Angram, I think that's how you pronounce her last name, who played Nellie, Sydney Greenbush who played Carrie Ingalls, her twin sister wasn't there, it was just her. And then there was Charlotte Stewart, who played Mrs. Beetle. Hersha Parody, who played Alice Garvey, Mrs. Garvey, um, was supposed to be there, but ended up not coming. <sighs> Wendy Lou Turnbow, who played little baby Grace. She was there, her twin sister was not. Pamela Roylance, who played Sarah Carter. Mrs. Carter was also there. Stan Ivar, I think he was supposed to go too, but then Turns out he couldn't, I believe. He played um, John Carter. There was also um, Radamus Para, who played John Jr. Why am I not finding him? I'm going to find them just because 
they have to be they have to be mentioned i'm not just gonna say you know their characters uh, i'm not just gonna say it's the carter boys because they're more than just the carter boys they're actual people that were there and they deserve to be recognized by name so just give me a hot minute come on okay so lindsey kennedy played jeb carter he was there and then David Friedman, Friedman? I don't know how to say his name, played Jason Carter. And that was everybody that went there this year, which was good enough for me. I would have been fine with just one. You know, that's, that's amazing. It's a little House in the Prairie cast. So they were all there. So we got there. Um, now it's a little story time, okay? Story time. Story time. So when my grandma and I decided to go, I went online and I was in charge of buying, you know, the tickets for the um, pageant and booking um, either the bed and breakfast or the Airbnb. So I booked the tickets, got those, ended up forgetting them later, but we'll get to that. Uh, excuse me. Booked the tickets and then I went ahead and booked an Airbnb that was in Walnut Grove. Now mind you, Walnut Grove is small very very small so even finding an airbnb in town was already just mind-blowing enough so i booked us for one night and then she messaged me later and she's like oh i'm sorry i didn't know i totally forgot to block the block the dates because they asked me to house some of the cast Y'all won't guess what happened next. She says, but you can sleep in my bedroom and won't have to pay anything. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? When I found that out, I went screaming up and down the halls of my mobile home. I went and woke my boyfriend up and I'm like, babe, 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 you'll never guess. Oh my gosh. And I didn't know who was gonna be there, who was gonna be in the house. And I called my mom, I called my grandma. I was so excited. So then time came and we left yesterday. The first thing in the morning, best part was I found out that I looked into it that Walnut Grove was only two hours away and not three. So it was only two hour drive and driving in Minnesota is boring. So I drove and we get there and we meet, um. The woman at the Airbnb, beautiful house, wonderful woman. She was so nice, so kind. And um, we set everything down and then we went driving around and then we went to the park and we got autographs, autographs. Oh my goodness. So first one was Dean Butler. He was super nice. His line was so long. And so was Nellie's. He was super kind. We didn't know that we had to get bracelets for um, autographs. And the guy that was standing by him was like, you need a bracelet to get an autograph. And Dean's like, but she's already here. She's right here. Why, why can't she get an autograph? And so we got an autograph and t we chatted and we took a picture. And he was just so kind. And then as I'm like rustling around everybody, he made sure to like make sure I was okay and then I said thank you very much it means so much to me and he was so kind he just said like you're welcome thank you thank you for standing in line for you know an hour whatever next one everybody know who's that who this is Miss Nellie Olson aka Allison Angram I said I went to her first she was super nice it was crazy hearing her voice her voice is so distinctive so crazy um, her line is very long too next was miss beetle she was the sweetest little woman oh my goodness she was so kind um she looked at me at one of my name was and i said it and then i started spelling it and she just kept staring at me and she looked down and she wrote it all down and she's like look at that i got it all without messing it up. oh she was so adorable and so kind. We also got a picture with her. I got a picture with everybody. That was um, all of them. I wanted to go to um, all the other ones like Pamela's and Wendy and Lindsay. I wanted to go to their lines but they were so long and each picture, each photo was $10. So I didn't want my, my grandma was already spending like all her money on me and I didn't want I didn't want her to spend anymore. Later we found out 
that Pamela, Wendy, and Charlotte, um, which is Mrs. Carter, Baby Grace, and Miss Beetle were the ones staying in the house with us. So I'm like, oh, we'll just see them later. You know, we'll, I'll just, if, if we see them later, then we'll just catch an autograph there. Maybe a photo so you don't have to wait in line. So after that, we went through the um, Laura Ingalls Wilder Museum, which was amazing. And then the museum, the first part of it was obviously like all the display stuff. So you first walk in and there's a glass thing and it has pictures of, you know, people from the cast, autographs. And this one was mostly about Ma when she visited, who was played by Karen Grassle. Who was played by Karen Grassle. And old pictures of her coming way back from like 1974, which which amazes me because I didn't think that anyone really came when they started filming the show. So they just kind of got a quick idea of what the books were about and knew that Walnut Grove was the place to film it. It obviously wasn't filmed in Walnut Grove, but it was the setting. It was nice to see that she came back way in 74 when they first started filming it and got a look at what everything was like. She got a picture by the giant rock that was mentioned in one of Laura's books. She went to the old dugout. She went to all those places. This was before the show became just so massive and so heartwarming but she was not at the reunion this year she's been to reunions but she wasn't at this one they had um mr isaiah edwards costume the one he wore in the shows they even have the certificate of authenticities so these are from the shows victor french wore that all the time and it was right in front of me oh my gosh then you go over a little bit more and there's stuff about Melissa Gilbert who played Laura and then you turn around and there's a whole glass thing about Michael Landon. Michael! He was eye candy. He was the sweetest. He was the most wanting to be dad. Everybody wanted him as a dad. Everybody wanted to be him as a dad. You know, nothing can match up to the way that he portrayed Pa. They had all kinds of books written about him, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then you turn and you go to the wall and there's the giant fireplace from the Ingalls house. And you read it and it was the real one. It is the prop from the set, which means Pa touched it, Ma touched it, Michael Landon touched it, Karen Grassle touched it, Melissa Gilbert touched it, Albert touched it. Mary touched it. Everybody touched it. And it's sitting right there in front of me. <sighs> I'm okay. They also had the little glass doll on the top. And then they had a replica of the gun um, above it. And then you go over a little bit more next to it. And there's just all these posters from the show. And lo and behold... In this glass box was Pa's fiddle and it was the exact one from the show that Michael Landon played played but Michael Landon is all over that violin that fiddle it sounds like I know I'm freaking out over a lot of the Michael Landon stuff but that's because after watching videos and watching the entire the entire series and listening to people talk about him he made that show what it is obviously the actors um did their jobs and they did a damn good job of it at the Q&A later that night when we asked questions someone asked about that and they just had the most phenomenal things to say, the way he worked with children, how creative he was, how he was during their auditions, and it just, how funny he was, and it just makes you want to tear up because he's not here anymore. It almost makes you a little jealous that you weren't able to experience that. After that, we went over to the pageant location. Now, the pageant is the Laura Ingalls Wilder play that they put on. But before that, all the actors from the reunion will go up there. They, we ask questions. So of course, when they're introducing them, whatever, it's always a third in line on one side and they kept going back and forth. Then it got to me and I'm like up here sweating. My heart is racing and I start to like lose what I'm trying to say. And then I look at my phone because I had like a million questions, but I wanted to 
eliminate some. And so when I'm like, okay, I have two questions for you guys. And I said, what would be your advice for someone who is um, trying to make it into the acting career? And what is something about filming now that you wish they had back then? And they answered these questions so good, so informational, um, mentoral. It, their answers were so professional. Um, Radamus started with my question of the acting, you know, school would be good and just get experience on the stage. And then Allison started talking about the second question and then it went to Pamela who started talking about um, the acting thing again and she was so sweet about it and she didn't leave me hanging or anything. It went over to Dean who looked at me and he straight up like, it was longer than this, but he straight up said, you know, acting is, a brutal world like it's it's a brutal time whatever if you can't see yourself doing anything else other than acting then go ahead and do it but if you're on the fence and you can see yourself doing something other than acting then go find yourself doing something other than acting which is really really informational I don't know his way with words were just so great and then I sat down after that and like they wish the best of luck to me this and that, this and that. And then we didn't even stay for the pageant because I've already seen it and my grandma has, has my grandma has seen it like three or four times. And we're like, we don't really wanna stick around, you know, watch it. It's not gonna get done till like 11.30. So let's just go home because I'm kinda tired. And we go back to the house and we talk to our Airbnb owner and we chit chat, chit chat. And then it starts hitting like 11.30, 11.45. And we just go into our room to go to bed and then the three women come in. We're like, they're here, they're here, oh my gosh. So we go out there and Charlotte didn't stick around too long because she's a little, she's a little old lady. And it's been a long day. Like this is a lot for the actors and everything. So I didn't want to ask them for anything, you know, just say hi, how are you? How was it? You know, I hope you have a good sleep, whatever. I wasn't going to ask too much of them. Then my grandma opens her mouth. <laughs> that's so funny. She's like, do you want them to sign the picture? I'm like, well, I didn't want to ask them to do anything because it's so late and they're probably really tired. And then Pamela and Wendy were all like, no, 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 we'll sign anything. It's okay. <laughs> like, we'll definitely sign stuff. So I go back and I get um, the last two pictures. Thought I grabbed, um, I thought I grabbed one of Pamela's pictures, Mrs. Carter's pictures. But I grabbed one of Mrs. Garvey's pictures and Mrs. Garvey wasn't there. And I felt so bad. I wanted her to sign her own picture. I didn't want her to sign anybody else's picture. But then I gave Wendy this one. This is baby Grace. That's who she played when she was little. That could be either her or her sister. I don't know if they know, but she signed it. And then I'm like, you know what? One of the main reasons why I got this picture specifically was because of Michael Landon. And I just, I love this photo. But um, I then just asked Wendy, I mean, not Wendy, I then asked Pamela if she could just sign on, if she could just sign on Michael's side. And Wendy was like, you know, that's an honor if you're being asked to sign on Michael's side. So she signed over here. And then we didn't talk much after that. Wendy said, Mackenzie, blessings to you. And then Pamela said, Mackenzie's so grateful we met. Before, after the signing, they took a picture with me in the kitchen. Um, and I was in my jammies and I just took off all my makeup. I'm like, oh my gosh. But you know what? This is an opportunity. I'm damn well going to take it. We kind of went to bed after that. I slept and then we woke up this morning. I let my girl have her coffee and we sat outside because it was so beautiful out. And there was like a thunderstorm rolling in. So it was so breezy and you could hear the thunder out in the distance. And then the actresses came downstairs and we chatted. Pamela asked me how I slept last night. I'm like, you know, I, I slept decent. It was mostly because it was so quiet. Like it's hard for me to sleep in a completely silent space. So it took me a million years to go to sleep and then like trying to stay asleep and all that. And she's like, you know what? It's all the environment stuff. Like I realized that too, it's just so quiet. So then she asked like, how long of a drive do you guys have? And I'm like, it's just two hours. Oh, she's like, that's not too bad. I'm like, yeah. I wanted to, I'm glad it's so short because I leave for Atlanta next week and that's already like an 18 hour drive from um, where I live. And she's like, oh, what are you gonna do? Like, I'm gonna try acting. And her face just went like, what? Like, 
oh really <laughs> and she's like y you were the one that asked the question yesterday I'm like I was and your guys's feedback was so helpful and I really appreciated it and she started discussing it with me like how she got into acting and how much different it is now from than it was back then and how you kind of have to be your own creator now whereas you could just go audition somewhere you know back in the day and how she started off as a teacher and I told her I'm like I went to three different colleges and I almost got a degree at one and that was my acting degree the other two I just kind of fell out and I knew that I didn't truly want to do that with my life and after what Dean said last night, I know I'm that person that's not on the fence. I'm not on the fence about it. I will act because I know it's what I want to do. I don't care what it's going to take, which is why I'm going to Atlanta. Sorry, I'm using my hands a lot and it's kind of annoying, but I like it. It's how I talk. I'm expressive. We chit chatted for quite a while and she was so focused in on, you know, our conversation, she was just so sweet. She was so kind. And then the bus came to pick them up and she came up to me and she gave me a hug and she's like, don't stop what you're trying to do. You know, keep doing it. I can see potential in you. I can see, I can see that you really want this. I'm like, thank you so much. That means so much to me. Another thing Pamela said as she was leaving, she said, I want to get your autograph someday. I will never forget, Pamela. I'll never forget what you said. Wendy came over and she gave me a hug too and she's like, I'm so glad we got to meet. It was so nice meeting you guys. This and that, this and that. And then they had they had to like rush out the door and leave. And that happened and I'm like, did that just happen? Like the, the, the this last 24 hours just happened? I was not, I mean, I knew we were staying in the house with some actors. I was not expecting to get such an amazing response to my questions such informational responses. I honestly thought we were gonna miss the actresses at home, that we were never gonna be able to see them, but it actually happened. Like, I actually got their autographs, I got their photos, and I got advice. True advice, face to face with an actress. And it was just so surreal. And they were all so polite, beautiful inside and out. Pamela was such a great like mentor for me. And I'll never forget like everything that she said to me this morning. It was like the greatest experience ever. After that, my grandma and I went over to Nelly's Cafe and we had some home style cooking and then we drove home and now I'm here. And that whole ride, I was like kind of dazed. I'm like, holy cow, this, this just happened. This past 24 hours just happened and these actors are so nice now i'm excited for next week five years from now 2024 will be the 50th anniversary of the show and i can't wait for the 50th anniversary which is five years from now. I hope that everybody that can make it will make it. But if they can't, it's still gonna be such a celebration. And I already cannot wait. And hopefully, I'm a little bit successful in acting five years from now, but I will make time so I can give Pamela my autograph. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me. Can't you guys see how much darker I am? I got a little sun. I'm about to be real dark from Atlanta pretty soon. But thank you for watching this video. Um, I highly recommend watching the series. Uh, doesn't matter how old it is. It is a phenomenal show for its age too. Watch the show, read the books, go to Walnut Grove. I think they have these, they have these weekends every year where they have all the get together stuff. It's just the reunions are only every five years. So 2024 is the 50th anniversary. Just don't go on a Friday because I don't want it to be so busy like it would be today. Because it wasn't that busy yesterday. So don't go on a Friday. Go on a Saturday. They're usually there Friday and Saturday and not Sunday. So go. Go. It'll be an experience for you and your family. Men, you are allowed to be interested in it too. You know how many men I saw there? But thank you so much for watching. Thank you for, you know, being a part of my YouTube journey. And the next time I see you won't be for a couple of months, but it will be of a, hopefully, of a vlog about my trip to Atlanta and my acting experience and everything. And hopefully next time you see me, I'll have a skinnier face. <laughs> I'll be unrecognizable. But thank you so much for watching.
go to Walnut Grove. And thank you actors, if you ever watch this, thank you for informing me and giving me all the advice that you can for someone that is trying to make it in the Hollywood world. All right, bye guys.